Hello my soccer universe, let's close out this international break with one last look forward to the World Cup since now all the ratings are out there. Yes, the FIFA ranking has not been officially published, however I found a page that uh, does the update because it's anyway on, on Unifarmer so I have it all fully updated. Um, and let's see how projections have changed, but I not only want to uh, mention other favorites, I actually want to look at each group also who I personally think could uh, spring an upset. Um, and so in a way I'm going probably a little bit against my uh, ratings as well, which come again, this is not, I did not make this up. I just take the bookmakers odds. I take the FIFA ranking or rating. There's always a number associated with it, and the ELO rating and combine those three into one overall rating. And the odds of course ag aggregated over, um, I think around 20, bookmaker so uh, to kind of um, have that averaged out as well let's get right to it we have here the first four groups with um, the netherlands i think it is fair to say that they are the favorites in their group and yes you can see already if you look here at just the expected points in the first column it is a very very tight race between senegal qatar and ecuador and qatar of course receives a slight boost uh for being the hosts honestly i have a fear that senegal will not be the this over that the that, that, that team that so many say could spring a surprise yes they might be the strongest team in africa at the moment i just feel this will not be a world cup for african teams i, I just have this gut feeling at, at the moment and i will say the netherlands and qatar will come out of this group group b uh given the recent form of england and the united states i think seems more wide open than ever before at the moment it's still england usa then wales just behind and then iran a little bit behind there I think Iran is the team to look out for here. I really think that uh, we could very well see. I, Despite their bad, bad form uh, as of late, I think England will just scrape through this group. However, I think it will also be Iran that comes out of this one. But, you know, that's my personal opinion. Uh, based on Ray ratings, of course, the US should be the better team and, you know, everything can change. Overreaction to um, friendlies ahead of the tour term is always something that uh, we see consistently. Uh, Group C, Argentina, is, as we'll see, is one of the two biggest favorites and also the team that I am wearing here with this beautiful 98 away jersey. Um, they are clear favorites in the group. However, behind them, it's Mexico, Poland, and potentially Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia probably has the slight advantage that the local league allows them to prepare for this World Cup. They, they have a bunch of friendlies scheduled between now and the World Cup because they can do that, whereas Mexico, especially Poland, cannot do that. Poland is always a team that flatters to deceive. I would love to for once to see Poland come through. I just don't see it either. Again, between Mexico and Saudi Arabia. And given, yes, I know there are political tensions between Qatar and Saudi Arabia, but given the proximity, Saudi Arabia should actually be lifted and I think is right there in the race. I still would give it just to Mexico, but I'll Saudi Arabia in there. Group D, again, we have we saw france denmark twice already this year the question is how much can we conclude from that will denmark beat france again we know that uh denmark is one of those teams that always gave france trouble uh it was probably one of the toughest matches on the way to the 98 title then they eliminated france uh in 2002 then we had again another matchup in uh 18 for sure did we have? We probably had had one in, 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 in between as well. Uh, and now we have the nation league. Now, now again, Denmark is really a team that can hurt France. And we know the winner's curse. The good thing for France is that I don't think that neither Australia or Tuni Tunisia are strong enough to move in there. Tunisia again, because they fall in the Arabic influence, might get a little, a little bit of a, of, of a boost, but. Uh, they might be among the weaker teams from Africa. And as I said, I don't believe this will be a World Cup of Af African teams. So I would still think France and Denmark go through. It is a little bit open, I think. Uh, I still think France will, will, will win it. To me, this would be a humongous upset of Italy 2010 proportions if France do not make it out of this group.
That I definitely have to say. Uh, in Group E, Spain and Germany really, really hard to predict because they also have been f up and down. Um, and I think that Japan could uh, hurt them, hurt one of the two giants. Still, you would think that the quality in those squads is just too good uh, to be uh, to have a problem with this group. I would give it more to Japan to make it out of this group than uh, Costa Rica, to be honest. Group F is a one that I think uh, looks is way more open than it looks here. Here it's basically Belgium, Croatia, and then Morocco and Canada. I think Belgium, uh, as good as they're going forward, they have really defensive problems. Croatia have actually shown in the nation like that yeah they have some old uh, guys in there but there is something about this croatia team that still could work actually in their favor morocco i think might be the sturdiest african team in the entire tournament and don't underestimate canada i think this one is wide open i think one of the two Euro Euro europeans will go out of this one um, at the moment still because based on largely on their rating uh, Belgium are huge favorites I would not be surprised if Belgium does not survive this group group G I think meanwhile I think this is the most wide open group uh, or, or, or this is the most competitive, competitive group uh, take Cameron out I think Cameron uh, who is the weakest uh, Afri Af African team it's between Cameron and Ghana to me Absolutely. I, I, I would say Senegal, Morocco uh, are in there and then Tunisia probably right there with Cameroon and Ghana um, doing something. However, if I look at the other three teams in there, Brazil are the overwhelming odds on favorites. And while I personally haven't seen them from all the highlights and all the talk I hear, Brazil are an amazing team this time around. The only thing is we have heard that before. So I'm, I'm cautioning a little bit against that. Uh, this is at least now the... Yeah, I don't remember World Cup where, where, where I come in. Brazil was not the top favorites. Although a few times I really thought uh, it just doesn't sound right in, in a way. I think the 2010 World Cup was the last one where everyone said Spain or Brazil in that World Cup. So Brazil should be the over, considered the overall favorites, but I think the two European teams in there are very evenly matched. And I don't know, the Switzerland team is typically Switzerland, sturdy, uh, hard to beat, and probably with one of the best goalkeepers in the tournament that can frustrate both Brazil and Serbia. And Serbia on their day can beat anyone. You have Mitrovic, you have Lovic up front, you have Kostic. There is so much talent in the squad. You even have a, a rather solid, solid defense, maybe a shaky goalkeeper uh, in, in, in there. But I think if the Serbia team is clicking, they can hurt Switzerland, they can hurt Brazil. I actually think this is the clearest three-way race where the top spot, I, I would still give it very much to Brazil. But it's not a, such a foregone con con conclusion. I think uh, all three of those could finish on top. And I would agree with the um, ranking that um, at the model speed, Switzerland, here, that Switzerland ahead of Serbia. However, the Serbia team can spring a surprise. This is probably, probably the darkest of all dark horses because Croatia is already a level, a level above. But there is so much talent in this side, uh, it would be very interesting to see. And then Group H is another one. I am squarely looking here at South Korea. I don't quite trust Uruguay yet. Yes, they qualified uh, in, in the NHL. And I think that Portugal is held back by the manager to a similar um, as is England, in a way. Uh, if Portugal can unleash their offensive potential while also remaining defensively sound, this Portugal team can go deep. I am not so sure about this your 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 team, and I think that the South Korea team could could be rather good. Again, forget about Ghana. Uh, you know that I love African teams. I just don't see. I think that uh, this crop of African contenders either got a bad draw or is not that great because uh, really good teams were did not make it. And that's a shame for the Africans. Um, now, going as these groups here are projected, what's the most likely dream? There's a tree. There's also not much has changed. There's only one change. The second semi-final between, between France and Belgium, it's now Belgium favorites over France. And so we would have a Brazil-Belgium final 
which doesn't sound quite right if you uh, go me if we go now through the um, the results i think if it really play pans out this way the dutch over netherlands anytime argentina will have a hard time against denmark but will prevail spain croatia we had that uh, at the last euros still think spain will go through brazil should go over Ur uruguay but uruguay is a big stumbling block England over Senegal would add another one where England has actually overall a kind of a sweet ride as they had in the last two tournaments. France should win against Mexico, Belgium against Germany. That's where I think it falls down. I don't think a Belgium will beat Germany. I just don't. Portugal against Switzerland, uh, hard fought. I think this could be hard fought, uh, but Portugal might prevail in, in the end. But of course... Jan Sommer might change that that that, uh, that one. Um, Netherlands or Argentina should always be Argentina, I think. Uh, Brazil, Spain would be probably the uh, most interesting matchup with the winner very likely move, move moving on. Brazil favorites. We had England, France. That's cool too. And I said I don't think that Belgium will be there. Germany. Let's say Germany against Portugal. I also don't see Portugal beating Germany. So I actually think it's it's. Instead of um, instead of Belgium, I see the Germans moving in there. If we really get up Argentina against Brazil semi-final, boy, uh, strap on. <laughs> this would be uh, epic. Brazil, the favorites, uh, and France against let's say Germany. France are the favorites, and so I get to a Brazil France final. Winners course, may maybe not. In any case. Uh, let's look at the overall favorites. Uh, you see it's Brazil a step ahead of the rest. And then there's Argentina, then there's France. And then I think Belgium, Spain, the rest is, you know, Belgium, Spain uh, is, is, is in the um, uh, third category. And the rest and goals more or less, these uh, would be the outside, outsiders. I honestly think that Belgium is overvalued here. The FIFA and ILO ratings give them too much power, I personally feel. But yeah, uh, given by pure talent, Brazil, Argentina, France seem to be the best teams. But I think it will be a World Cup of surprises. That's as much as I want to say. What do you think? How will the groups pan out after you saw now the international break? Um, where do you agree and disagree with you know these projections, which are very much uh, chalk? Uh, so would love to uh, to hear who you think will go forward. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.